Hey guys, so we're back again for another episode of Star. This is Star episode 13. The child, what is it? The Reckoning. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, um, hold on. Gotta unplug my phone to save my battery. But, um, child, let me just go ahead and let y'all know that this episode, this episode review is pretty much gonna be short as shit because. I had a long ass day of class today. Class was boring as fuck. I've been sleepy all day, but I had to keep myself up so that I can be able to do this for y'all. So, yeah, this review going to be very short because, bitch, I, I'm tired and I got to sleep. So, we start the episode off with Cassie Day dreaming about her and Maurice, you know, fucking each other and going all doggy style and shit. And he's out here wondering how things between her and her dad went. And, of course, she, you know, resents the whole conversation or whatever. So then she gets a call from someone regarding her search of the documentations for um, finding out the the baby from, last, from the last episode. So she does that. And out of nowhere, Xander pops up and tries to suffocate her. I'm sitting here like, oh, shit. So he does that, and Carlotta walks into the building and finds all this blood everywhere, and Cassie is pretty much just getting, she just got beat up. So at that point, after Cassie tells her what had happened with her getting attacked by Xander, and all the bullshit that she's done, dealt with with his negotiations with getting through um the business and whatnot, Carlotta promises that she's going to kill him herself. So after she cleans her up, Maurice calls and he expects to see Cassie, but Carlotta quickly handled that shit. So Cassie wants to be able to take some time alone, and Carlotta had to let her know that, you know, she's just got to keep fighting. So later on, Carlotta confronts Mateo about doing business with Xander after the whole situation that she got from Cassie, and she pretty much lets him know that at the end of the day he needs to go back to his roots and trust trust his instincts because he's allowing himself to be Mateo's um Xander's bitch. I'm sorry. So at that point, you know, it is what it is. So Mateo is it's it's on you, bro. It's on you. So then after that Maurice checks up on Cassie and she shows him the bruise and shit like that, and then he goes on this little sob story with Cassie, letting her know that you're worth it, and I'm gonna make sure that ain't nobody gonna ever put their hands on you or whatnot. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, how about that? So, Linda Carlotta, you know, walks to Cassie about, you know, the stuff that happened with Star. We're gonna get to that in a minute. And Cassie plans to confront him and this causes Carlotta to ask to, you know, for the time and place so that they can be able to confront him together. But we all know Cassie. Well, she, we all know Cassie don't ever like to do shit with other people. She likes to do shit on her own, especially when it comes to that nigga Xander. So, speaking of that, she later pops up on his ass and she pretty much lets him know that, you know, hey, I'm tired of this. You, I know the real you. I know exactly what you did. And I went on ahead and told the feds everything from your entire organization. And the second that she walks off, he tries to pull the gun on her. But then he ends up pulling the trigger on himself. And I'm like, good. Storyline over. All that stuff. So then we get to this next part with Alex. She's upset about what happened with Gigi, and she's going through her plans with therapy and her with her mom. And then we get to this little commercial about the nomination single, and it shows Alex and Mel having their um duet from season two with the kiss, which clearly upsets Derek, and they're both not too fond with the press of the nomination. So later, Carlotta sets up a meeting with Alex, Gigi, and Noah, and that they need to come up with the really great performance for the um, ASA nomination party to help um, the company raise money. Because what ended up happening was 
earlier in the episode, we get this scene with Mateo and Carlotta meeting up with the um, investors and finding out that the investors are no longer putting any more money into the business because Mateo pretty much used up all that money through gambling. So even though Carlotta tried to prove themselves worthy through the ASA nominations and the ASA event, they still don't trust them because Mateo is just going to end up fucking around and doing the same shit again. Which is kind of true because we all knew that he was going to do some shit like that. So with that, she's upset about it. So it's up to the three of them to come up with the idea to really bring the house down to help make more money for the company. And... Carlotta plans to have Alex and Noah perform together. But Alex is complaining about Derek's feelings. I'm like, look. I mean, I get it. I get that you care about Derek's feelings and whatnot. But at the end of the day, bitch, the very business that's holding the foundation for your fucking career is literally on a financial brick right now. And as much as I know you're trying to do right with other people, bitch, you need to make sure that you do your part in the business by helping it succeed and make money. Okay? So coming from a business standpoint, fuck his feelings. We need to make money just so your bitch ass could have a dream. So that your bitch ass can have a career. So that your dumb ass can be able to have some money in order to make yourself further than you already is. Because you're not going to be able to get enough of that if your ass ain't got no money and no business to be able to have all that shit to, found, to have all that shit to be a foundation for your motherfucking career now. Okay, little dumb ass? So get that shit together. So at that point, Gigi's still talking shit about the two of them. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm so over this whole storyline between them. We're going to move right along to this next part. So then we get Mateo. He pretty much still fucking around with the producer lady from the last episode. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. You know, they getting comfortable and shit. And... We clearly see that they fucked and that, you know, he's still married to Nina, but he threw the ring away and they finna fuck again. But then he gets a call from Carlotta about the investor situation. So moving on from that point, after the meeting, Carlotta gets a call from Simone. Pretty much what ended up happening with Star. Because earlier before all of that, Everybody was literally excited about Star coming home and whatnot, and everybody was enjoying themselves. And then we saw Star pretty much on 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 the ground, knocked the fuck out. And one inmate finds her and helps her. So at the hospital, they all get an updated that Star has been placed in a coma to help heal her brain, since she's going through a lot of trauma within within her. Um, Within her brain. So this causes Simone to freak the fuck out. To to want to do something. To try to help out her sister. And I'm sitting here like. And I'm sitting here. Bro, I'm I'm looking at Simone freaking out. And doing other stuff. I'm like Simone sit down. Don't do it. Don't do it. So after they calmed her ass down. Carlotta had to let her ass know. That she can't shut people out. And Simone lets her know that she's going to be able to be the one that's going to wait for Star while she takes care of making sure that Star gets to walk on that stage when she gets out. So then we get this short scene with Mr. Bruce telling Noah about the news of Star and whatnot. And he's devastated. And she's worried that he has all this pressure with the ASAs and being a single dad and the fact that this might push him into doing some more fuck shit with them damn pills. But Noah swears up and down that he's okay. So then him and Simone meet Star in the hospital. They worry for her. And the baby and shit. So Simone leaves Noah to go ahead and have his alone time with the with Star and he pretty much tries to beg her. He pretty much begs her to wake up so that he can get some validation from her in hopes that he'll 
that he's actually doing well and that everything that he's doing is right when in reality your ass ain't really doing shit your ass really ain't doing a very good job with raising the kid because you over here doing all this and that when you need to be focusing on being there for the child and your ass ain't been doing that very well and then we get Simone she comes in and she ends up you know meeting up with Star and she brings in the baby and stuff like that and I thought it was real cute because you know she sung Come Back Home to Me which is also one of my favorite songs and it was also a reminiscing moment from season one where we saw Star you know performing to Simone when she was in the hospital and now the roles are reversed and I was like okay I see that shit but then all of a sudden as soon as the song ended Star's body just started hyper, just started hyperventilating as if she's going through a seizure and shit. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is going on? Okay. Okay. Shit. That's kind of scary. So later while watching the baby, Noah is really just battling with his demons. And he tries to call his dad. And he pretty much gets no answer. So after the fact that he's all by himself, he's got all this pressure going on, and he's dealing with the baby, bitch, he pretty much lost his battle with his demons, and he ends up taking his pills. You dumbass. So then we get to see with Cotton, she walks up and sees a woman getting you know, getting beat by her former sugar daddy named Leon. And she practically tries to threaten him, but she gets but she gets him out, but he threatens that, you know, both her and the lady will will be able to get theirs after he threatened them and shit. So later Karma near the end of the episode, Cotton gets a visit from the same woman with a group of other abused women in need of help from Leon. And I'm like, okay, I don't see where the fuck is, I don't see where the fuck this is going, but okay. So then we get back to Derek and Alex. He meets up with her, and after he found out about Star, and she's worried about the duet, and he lets her know that he's not going to be the one to interfere with her dreams. And he made a statement that one day when this whole fiasco is over, he's going to marry her. And this puts... A, a, a miles a huge milestone on Alex because that's something that she never really expected in the relationship so suddenly and later on in the episode when her Simone and Carlotta ends up going to the hospital at the pray for star Carlotta made a statement that was really true when at the end of the day there's no use in waiting because you're not going to get anything and nothing's going to happen if you just wait. Sometimes it's just really best for you to just take the moment to really just appreciate things in life and just get it now. Start now. Which I thought was cute. So later we get to the nomination party. And at this point, everything seems to be going well up until... Um, Gigi walks up into the red carpet and she's already getting harassed by all the press about her situation with her aunt's suicide. And this causes Gigi to run off into the girl's restroom, which also causes Alex to come in and pretty much be by her side and comfort her and all this stuff. And they were both over here, um, they were both pretty much just having a kumbaya moment just discussing things regarding their situations with their family members and how messy and dysfunctional they are and shit like that. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So we find out that Noah is still at home and not at the party. So he's physically high off the pills and his dumb ass decided to put a rag on top of a stove while he was trying to heat the baby but Let me tell y'all something. When I saw that shit... Not only did that piss me straight up because of how dumb that shit was, but then that shit reminded me of this one time that when I was... That, that, that took me back to this one time when I was young and we used to live in this very neighborhood that I currently live now, but it was at a different house. 
And my sister was babysitting. She wasn't she wasn't under any influence. She wasn't on any pills. She wasn't on anything. She was just babysitting. So with my sister, it was just a harmless, irresponsible mistake. Her dumb ass decided to cook, knowing good damn well that her ass can't cook to save her own motherfucking life. So she ended up cooking. And she left the rag on top of the stove. And her dumb ass went to sleep. The whole house went in flames. <laughs> so when I saw that bitch, that's, that brought back so many memories. I'm like, ooh. Okay. Yeah. So cooking is definitely not in this household. So um, after that, you know, he passes out as soon as the stove caught him, as soon as the rag caught on fire. And I'm sitting here like, you dumbass. Luckily, Simone was there the same day, and then Megan walks in, and she tries to stop Simone from taking the baby away, but Simone held her own and walked off with the baby, because I'm sitting here like, Megan, at the end of the day, Simone is in better fit with the baby than your ass, because bitch, you, bitch, you just popped the fuck up on the scene. I literally forgot that your ass was on this season in the first half. It was, it, girl, girl, bye. So, yeah. At this point, I was here for Simone doing what she had to do. So she tells Miss Bruce that she plans to watch over the baby until Star wakes up. And Miss Bruce was concerned that this might be a huge responsibility that Simone might have to take. And Simone is willing to do that. So then Noah wakes up. He finds out that the baby is gone. And Megan pretty much confronts him about the situation of the fact that he can't get his shit together, so she pretty much breaks up with him and leaves him. So now he's pressed, because not only did he lose his baby, but he lost his woman. So, was it worth the little dumbass? No. Moving on from that, um, we see Alex in the decorated room. She's setting up the move for her and Derek, and then she sings for him while looking back at all the memories that they have from the second that they met and shit like that. And she ends up making the ultimate move by proposing to him after she felt moved by the speech that Carlotta made earlier in the episode when they were all together at the hospital. And at this point, bitch, Derek said yes. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes! I did Dalix, 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 Dalix. Okay, okay, let's stop, let's stop. So then we end the episode off with um, Cassie coming home to the shop, and Carlotta, you know, she's upset that Cassie went to go see Xander without her. But they decided to move on from it since they already figured that, since she already did it, that Xander is dead. So at this point, Cassie lets Carlotta know that the baby that she had with their daddy is alive. And she gave her the documentations to prove it. And at this point, Carlotta did not sit well with that shit at all. And at that point, she just she she just wasn't here for it. She just wasn't here with news. And that shit just didn't sit well with her. And that's just what ended up happening. And, yeah. Child, that was Star. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this video, and I will see you guys later. I'm sorry that it wasn't... I'm sorry that this review wasn't very structured, or that it wasn't very, like, energetic as most of it, because, again, I had a very long day, and I was, I've been... I've literally been sleepy all day. But I still wanted to make sure that I pushed through just so I can give this video to you guys. And I tried my best with it. So I hope all y'all have a really good day. I hope all y'all get some good night's sleep. I know I am. And I will see you guys later. Bye.